up today my fellow Madden soldiers right now we're going to get into how to build a 90 OVR team in 16 days the reason I say 16 days is because that's how long it took me to build mine you could probably build it in shorter or it might take a little longer you know it depends on how much time you dedicate to it but there's right now this is postseason there's so much content into the game I'm just trying to show you that it's not hard to build a 90 OVR if you really want one so if you got lower than eight, uh, a 90 OVR there's really no need to if you're grinding but if but if you do you know stay tuned i'm gonna show you how i did it so the, the first thing i want to show you right now is this <clears throat> excuse me is this right here go to the challenges that i completed so you can see what i got so i i be i i finish this turkey bowl right here when you finish you get a 90 ovr you get to pick between like six of them or more you get to pick one of those whoever it is you feels best that's that's what you pick. We get 93 OER. This one you get like a 94 plus. I ended up with a 96 from the team of the year. You know, I finish these challenges. All these challenges are real easy. Some of them are frustrating, but majority more easy. This one too, red versus blue. I finished this one within a few hours. And I got a 94 of you on one. I got 95 on the other. So these are two free players I got. Remember, all these also come with coins. Okay, and then not only are you getting coins. You're, you're, you're leveling up at the same time. And as you're leveling up, you're getting coins and packs and other stuff from leveling up. And then from doing these challenges and for completing solos, you're getting coins for that. I'm going to take you to that in a minute. So another thing is these Ultimate Legends. Every week they're coming out with these Ultimate Legends and they're allowing you to get like a 88 plus OVR. Maybe just a little lower. Like, yeah, I think it is 88 plus OVR. And uh, that's pretty good, especially if you're just starting out and you want to build a team where you ain't got that much or you need training. You know, this is good right here. It helps you out. So every week we got that for we got uh, we got this to look forward to. So we'll keep on doing those. And then this right here is a Madden, Ch Madden challenge that they just came out with. They offered you a free 95 nat, um, two different players, the Damian Thomason and uh, the right outside linebacker, oh Lawrence Taylor. I, I almost forgot. But yeah, they offered they offered you him. And another thing too, you got it with these solos. You got 79 k once you completed all of them. Um, well, you got, you got coins on the way up, but you know, all together you get 79,000 coins as well as a 95 OVR. You can't beat that. So I finished that. That helped me. Then I finished the campaign. Finishing campaign not only helped me level up, but it gave me elite players. It gave me a lot of coins. You get at least about 180,000 coins just from this solo alone, not including the extra coins that you get from just leveling up and all that stuff. So then let me just go there. I haven't even finished these yet. Some of these I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna finish some of these when it comes to the most relevant. I feel that's gonna that I'm gonna need to finish them. But yeah, this one too right here too because I want to go get Tony Gonzalez and then probably Champ Bailey too. But I'm still thinking about how we're, what I'm gonna do with that. But most likely I'm gonna go finish those. Simple. Then you got these mutt levels. I haven't finished those yet, but let me show you what I finished. But these other two that I finished, I finished a rookie on it veteran garnet from both of these i get an 87 over or that's another thing we go before i go back to that i forget from the campaign you get two 87 ovrs too just to let you know pretty sure you guys are aware of that now but if you're not that's what you get from these two right here these two challenges i'm sorry let me let me correct myself on the rookie one you get two 87 ovrs you get to pick out of six players of your choice it's like a little rookie garnet fantasy pack and then out of veteran garnet you get the same thing you get to pick out of six players but it's an 89 ovr so, th so these helped out a lot okay so you see we got a lot of more solos to do so i'm gonna pick and choose which ones i'm gonna do which ones i'm gonna be that's gonna help us out and be more relevant and if i got time and even the ones i'm not really tripping on i'll probably do those too right now i'm finishing up these i can finish 30. this helped me this helped us out too this helped me build uh some of my front line in the beginning my old line as well as some other cards so we got we got a lot more coming right now but th that's what i did right now i helped me build the 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 90 OVR, but before I continue on, I'm gonna show you this. See, as you can tell, right here, the, the reward. Okay, you hit, hit level 45. It shows you you get a power pass. I'm assuming this is actually gonna be the 86, 87 that I was waiting for that I'm gonna use for the our tight end, which is Kittle. And then we'll power him up to like a 90, and then we'll, we'll keep on. We'll power him up to a 90, and we'll just keep him until. Until if we unless we get someone better or, or, or if we can keep on powering them up, that'll be fine. So another thing is, oh, let me go back to this. These are the weekly objectives. Okay, every week you're gonna get one of these, and you're gonna be able to get five thousand coins, thousand coins. You're gonna be able to get stuff from that too. Okay, and look at this here. 
I got 10,000 coins for each process that I completed. This is when you're building your team to 84, to 86, to 88. Now we're at a 90. So look it. Once I complete the, the eight uh, games, I'm going to get 10,000 coins. And then on top of that, because I completed the whole set, I'm going to get 50,000. So that's 60,000 right there they're going to give me. And remember, there's been numerous ones before that. There's been numerous, uh, not numerous, but, but there's been a few other ones before that when they showed you the, the 90, 88 OVR. I had to stop that real quick. Little kitty cat meowing. But anyways, uh, yeah, so, yeah, they had a few other ones before that, too. There wasn't a lot of coins, but there was coins, so you're getting something. You're still getting something as you're leveling up, or as you're improving your team, they call it. And then this is another one right here. What's this one for? The, oh, the Jeff TV. Oh, I already showed you that one. Oh, yeah, it's another one. So yesterday, I completed my 400 solo. Remember, I just barely started the team 16 days ago. 400 solos already. And, uh... I got, I got, each time you do, each time you do that, you always gain 5,000 coins. I'll, I'll, I'll finish this one maybe this weekend or maybe a little later. I don't know. However it is, it comes about. But I'll get an additional 5,000 as well as another, look on top, another 50,000. So I'll be 55,000 coins all together once I complete that. And then online, we haven't played much online right now because I've been so focusing on building my team. And I'm going to get into that too and reason why. Okay, this one right here is Mutt Master. So we, I've been, I've been, I haven't been focusing on it, but I've just been playing the game and I've been actually getting tokens and completing objectives. But as you do that, you don't really get coins, you just get the tokens. So that's what I've been doing here. Unless you complete every objective, you get the 500,000 coins, but that's online games and everything. And this is his regular stats. I haven't really put him in the lineup, so by himself, I haven't been able to, uh, yeah, focus more on that. But later on, I will. And this is when the game, this is the new one. This is a, this is a new one, so eventually we're going to get this. We're going to eventually get a 95 over yard. We're going to eventually get all hit all this, too. And we'll be, eventually get the tokens, and we'll be able to up, upgrade them to a 99. And then these right here. Oh, this right here. I haven't even, yeah, I haven't even touched that. So what I want to say is this, is that another thing that I did was the solo battles. Okay, I, I started it at 87 OVR. I got ultimate. I ended up with 150,000 coins that week as well as trophies. I know some people it's hard for them. I show people the first game on how I how I do it. I'm not gonna record every game because it's lengthy. But what I will say is this: I will keep it real with you. I'm not gonna sit here and be fake about it. I did what I tell you: the mid blitz and then the tray offset with the with the three receivers on, on my left. That's what I use. I usually put Dion on a streak on the far, far left. And I usually hit him or or I get the guy in the far right of the slant. And or I'll hit him. Whoever it is, my fastest receivers, whoever's open. Majority of the time I hit Sanders on the streak. But here's the thing though, depending on what OVR I'm playing in Ultimate, because what happens, they juice these teams up. They make it very hard for you to score them and all that stuff. It's just like it's very it gets very complicated. So I have to adjust. Uh, I run the same play, but I have to adjust it to see which one I'm going to do. And here's another thing. I do get dotted, and there's times when, 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 especially the higher OVRs, it, 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 it comes down to the last second. Sometimes it don't. Sometimes it's, it's easy. I just go through it, and I, I smack them, and that's that. But it, even with that said, I'll smack a high OVR. Next, you know, I'll play a low OVR, which is the 79 OVR on the ultimate, and I'm always struggling against them. So here's the thing. If you're in the middle of a game, and the mid blitz just ain't working no more for some reason you keep on doing it and it's just not working no more switch your defense up start using other defenses and whatever it is you can play because after that you just have to go into killer mode and go ahead and just start running whatever defense you can to to stop these dudes and the main goal is to keep on scoring after that you get one stop you should be all right and i mean at least one stop two stops you'll be good as long as you keep on scoring down the field but there's times this time look it is very it, it doesn't always happen like that but there's times that it does to where a majority of times mid blitz trade offs it great i do run it though and i usually run it just to kill the clock and stuff like that you know or if i'm really close to the end zone i'll run it in because the trade-off says i mean the pass is too long in order to do it in such a close range but i won't run the trade offs in, in close range like that but the thing is is that i usually use a run most of the time just to kill the clock but like i said though for some reason thing you keep on trying it though like keep on trying it you know like experiment with it to see how it works and when it don't work but once you realize that it's not working even though you got experience with it like i do i'll, I'll switch it up it's very weird that i do but i will switch it. if i have to i will switch it up 
or if I'm like at the 20 yard line or the 10 yard line and they're at their goal line, I usually won't run mid blitz because for some reason at that time it's like it's like he's just basically giving them a touchdown. Sometimes it will, but I won't risk it. I'll just put my man on the coverage, so I just don't give him the easy one one play touchdown. But before that though, yeah, as long as I as long as I but the, but the, it's very rare that they get down the field like I said. So that's why I always run mid blitz because they don't get that far. But when they do, I'll go ahead and switch it up. I'm just letting you guys know that, but. That's why I got the 150,000 coins, if you guys are wondering. I know it's hard. Look, at if, you, if you're really having a struggle, you could keep on running the same plays that I run. Just go lower. Try elite. Go pro or just go whatever it is. Whatever it is, just start getting something from these solos. They'll help you level up and everything else. But I got the 150,000 from that. And this is this is what happened. So once I did that, okay, so I got players from, from the game. All right, that they give you, um, and so when I got these coins, I got at least I ain't gonna lie about 600 700,000 coins from this game. Period, I did not, no money spent. You guys seen everything, you've seen the coinage, everything that's what it was. So I just make sure because remember, right now we're postseason, so a lot of players are cheap. That's a fact, a lot of players are cheap. So I, I went over there and I just picked the best players that I needed from my lineup. I, I bought a lot, um, not a lot of them, but quite a few more legends because they you know they're cheaper. I bought those players, put them into lineup, did whatever it was. But the I, I try to build a team to where not only is it you know it's cheap for the me to buy players, but also got the right players for us to utilize so we can go ahead and keep on winning. You know, like I show you right here, I got George Kittle, Tyree Kill, I got T.Y. Hilton, also got Deion Sanders. You know, so some of those people they're pricey players, but I know that these guys will give us the best result when it comes to passing touchdowns, running spin moves no Tyreek right now he ain't great at spin moving but once I get his next card he will be T.Y. Hilton he's an 86 spin move but once I put the the zone run on him he'll, he'll meet that threshold so stuff like that you know same thing on defense same thing on defense you know I build it smart you can't you can't build it stupid so uh, some of you guys gave me suggestions too so I use some of those too but you see what I'm saying like I built it based on who I feel is going to be useful this guy was fortunate enough to get so we're gonna need another left outside linebacker eventually when we get more coinage you know what i mean hopefully later on uh we go ahead and power them up but you know like i say even the kickers and all that see like i try to give everybody a little bit of love you know like you just, you, you have to build your in order to get a 90 over your you just can't have like five 96s and everything everyone else 70s now you have to be a kind of close to even across the board george kittle like his card, I was gonna go try to buy his 87. It's like 400,000 co uh, coins, but there's no need for that because the next power up pass should be the 86, 87. I'll throw that in there. But the only reason I get another tight end is because I know I'm gonna get him, and I know I'm gonna get Tony Gonzalez. So I had to be smart, but I still ended up with a 90 OVR. Okay, so that's another thing. But like I said, when you start building a team, try to make sure that you you even out the playing field because not only will that help boost your OVR perfectly, but it'll also um, help your team out when you're out there on the field you see that they function better because you have you have a lot of higher ovrs and the majority of your team's lower ovrs you're gonna you're, you're not gonna be able to pass the ball and you're not gonna be able to be that effective and if you do then that's you but me i i noticed that when i first started my team in the beginning of the season i had some high players and the majority of my team were suffering because i wanted to get this top uh player which was Jalen ramsey the diamond in the beginning thinking i was bad thinking thinking that this guy was gonna make up for the whole team it don't work that way i had to sell him he wasn't a bad player, but I had to sell him, and I used most of a million coins that I invested into this guy, and it boosted up my whole team, though. My whole team actually went up, and it was actually performing better. So stuff like that to keep in mind when you build your team. So another thing I want to stress to you guys, you know, I know it's not, this is a 90 OVR, but, you know, a lot of people, they always want to be like, hey, how come you don't go online? How come you don't do this? How come you don't do that? But here, here this is a rule of thumb right here, all right? The only time, the only reason I went online that that one time to show you guys is because I know you guys want to see online gameplay with this team to see what you guys could do with it. In the beginning, it was lower OVR than this. I think it was like 88, 87, whatever it was. And I had a guy in the rage quitting. But the thing is, is my rule of thumb is this: when you build a team, like I said, I just did it to show you guys. But when you build a team, personally, when you build a team, when I build a team in the beginning, I play every solo that I possibly can. And to, to give me the best team and best result possible with what I'm given before I even go out into the playing field, especially right now when you got high OVRs and um, play, you're playing against. So, yeah, it does take skill. Like, if you have good skill, this, like the team before, it's 88, it could have done a lot. But the thing is, is that 
it's not as effective as someone who has a has a, has a better OVR. It just they, like I said, I got smashed by 88 OVR. I have another team. It's a 97. I got smashed before. It is what it is. Madden allows certain teams the advantage sometimes. I am not tripping, but the, but be realistically, you need a good OVR. Not a good 90 like right now. It's decent to go online and, and start playing. But like I said, the reason why I take this is my rule of thumb that I do for myself is that I wait until I play every soul that I feel is best and every soul that I'm gonna do at least before I even hit online. So at least I know that everything is done. Every Everything that I could have did is done and now all I have to do is just play online and get beat or win, whatever it is that happens and keep on playing and learning the game because what happens is when you play every solo, when you get the game and, and you try to get build your team just real quick and you jump over there to the online game and you haven't, even, you haven't really understood the game, you're gonna get smashed. Why? Because you don't understand the game fully. Every game is different. You know, some of the plays and all that are similar, but the way players function are different. So when you play a lot of solos, what helps me is it helps me learn the game that I'm playing at the time. Playing all these solos, I was able to better my sp my spin moves. I was able to better my run plays, my throw up, my passing plays. You know, whatever it is, I was able to learn that stuff. So when I was out there online, I was a little bit better. It's not perfectly, but you 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 have a better chance to succeed when you're online. That's what playing all these solos helped me out, and that's a fact for me. That's a fact. So that's to just keep you on. But I will play online for you guys. I will do that, you know, because I am. You know, this is a YouTube channel, and I am trying to, you know, show you guys what you can do, win or lose. Like I said, I'll post it. I'll let you guys know what's up. But that's why I post it on. I go online right now is just to show you guys. But usually, when I build my team, to be honest with you guys, I won't go online until uh, until I completed every solo that I could possibly to help my team out. Okay, so. Another thing too um, that I want to ask you guys is that I want you guys to leave a feedback about what you would want to see in the future. You know, like like whether it's here in this season or even next season, like what what type of stuff you want to see, so I could know I can start preparing for it. But I feel that this is another concept that I will bring back is not only would I build a, a uh, do a no money spend team in the beginning, but I want to do a postseason one too, you know, like to see what, what, what I could do with it after the postseason because I know some people get the game during Christmas. So I might even start it then. It might even be postseason. It might be during that time to help people out, you know, build, build a team from the ground up and show them what they could do at that time with what they have to help build them their team. I know that I'm going to do for a fact. Like that's not going to be, It'll be an extreme circumstance for me not to do it or something this is just unable to but that's what i want to do at christmas time when people a lot of people end up getting the game i want to be able to show people you know how to build it up from the ground up during that time with what we have so i'll build it at that time instead of like doing it right after the super bowl it just happened you know someone suggested that i build it but that'll be the perfect time to do it when people barely start getting the game so i think that's a good good thing that i thought of if you have any more suggestions let me know um yeah, so, so you guys know right here, like I said, I pointed it out, I had all those coins. I'm level 44 now when I when I hit a 90 overall, I was level 43. So that's another way of leveling up to by playing these solos. So this is what it took for me to build a 90 OVR. You know, let me know right in the comments what OVR you got and how long it took you to build it or when you started building your team, whatever the case may be. So I get a better understanding of what you're working with. And, you know, I'm going to have a playlist on here. The playlist, if you guys haven't checked them out, you know, if you're interested in I'm going to have playlists at the end of the video. Go ahead and click on it. It's the playlist. The playlist that I have up there is for the series of this No Money Spin Team. It's a No, no Money Spin Team series. You can go see from how I build it up. I shared everything with, with you. Even the videos were lengthy. I wanted to make sure you've seen it. I'm going to say in the future, the videos will be like this. But right now, it's going to be like this to just show you. So if you want more detailed analysis of how to build your team, you still see through every video. Some videos are longer, some videos are a little shorter. But you know, if you guys want more detail, then go ahead and check those out. But you know, thank you guys all for tuning in. If you guys ain't sub, please sub. If you like what you like, if you like what you've seen, then like the video, comment below. Well, I'm based on the stuff that I told you. And um, until next time, man, have a nice.